<laughs> Hi, I'm Matt Edmondson. I'm Georgie Oakle. And I'm Will Best. And together we're T4, T4 presenters. T4 we're presenters. We're not as good as Jenna no, 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 no. and, and, and you're watching My Bliss. Oh yeah, that's UK. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which makes them a very smart individual. Mm. And attractive. Mm. <laughs> very, very attractive, intelligent, charismatic people. Mm. You lot. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, so the T4 Stars of 2011 is coming up next month. Who in the lineup are you most excited to see? So T4 Stars, 11th yeah. of December. Who yeah. are you looking forward it's to? It's tricky to pick because they all are, by definition, stars. Mm. Yeah. Um, specifically of 2011. Yeah. Um, uh, Faith, for you, Will. Though, if, uh, you, if you had to pick one, if you know. If, if you I had to pick, who am I most excited about seeing? Yeah. It's like a very famous Sophie's Choice. Yeah. yeah. Well, that involved death, didn't it? Yeah. We're not well, going to slaughter any of the yeah. No. Okay. Uh, I'm most looking forward to um, to seeing. Uh, I, I think I'm probably most looking forward to seeing Jessie J perform because okay. she has got an incredible voice, like ridiculous, amazing voice, um, and 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 big tunes, and she'll definitely have some big production. I think she's going to raise the roof. I think she might raise the old roof. Um, I'm going to get Fred Sheeran. I've never seen him live, so I'm really excited. Fred Sheeran. Fred Sheeran. Yeah. <laughs> Is he related to us? Yeah, it's his brother. Is it for, 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 oh, sorry, sorry. Amazing. For Ed Sheeran. Right. Um, I'm going to go for him. I think, yeah, never seen him live. I think he's done so well this year. Such a good voice. Um, and so I think are we talking the about crowd. Fred. Fred. Ed. Well, I think Ed might be there too. I mean, I might, I might try and stop by and see Ed. But Fred is one of the. It's, it's a surprise. Ed's not on the. Fred is a bill. surprise guest. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if we've announced it yet. Actually, that Fred. He'll be in the next raft of releases. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, you? I love Fred. Um, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with Pappy. You know, Pappy from from N Dubs. Oh, yeah. Pappy from Pappy. Randall, yeah. Pappy Mache. Yeah, I think he's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. he's going to be absolutely And it's nice Pappy as well, because when... Is it Pappy Rash? That's his... Um, Pappy Rash, off his, of, his rapping off of Randall. Yes, Pappy And Rash. when Anna's were together, he kind of would hang out in the background, you wouldn't really mm. see him, wouldn't really do his own thing. Uh, but now Pappy is just... He's gone. absolutely blowing up, mm. yes. that guy. So I'd say, yeah, uh, Pappy. Cool. Pappy and Fred. Um, and how do you think it's going to compare to last year's? It's going to be better. I'll tell you a number of reasons why. Rick Edwards isn't going to be there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Thank right. you. Everyone there's, there's, relax. There's, there's three arms. There's three reasons sitting in front of right you there. now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 the, it's the stars of, and then I'm taking 2011. That's one thing. Fine. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, lack of lack of Rick is going to be yeah, yeah, that is yeah. really, a real relief for all of us because he's a very predatory yeah, man. Can imagine. Um, Crazy. Kind of scary. Kind of, yeah, yeah. In, this, in a similar yeah. way to by, by all intents and purposes, kind of backstage at Live Aid, um, uh, uh, Freddie Mercury was very predatory in that respect. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Um, Rick was. Is this a history lesson? <laughs> that is actually true. So yes, this year. I mean, I don't. Cause, well, you guys weren't at last year's because you didn't start. No, we weren't I'd there. I just started, but I was kind of doing a bit of um, backstage stuff for the website. They sort of kept you out of. Yeah, mm. they kind of tried to. You're in a pen, weren't you? Yeah, I was just kind of in the corner <laughs> in, in a pen. Wasn't that happy? Leave. It was kind mm. of like this big, just with me, Pappy, and Fred. Mm. Um, and now they've let us all on stage with yeah. Pappy and Fred. Yeah. Um, and the then, but there is there is still a no feeding policy. So mm. if you see a T4 presenter at T4 Stars. Please do not offer us <laughs> sort of like uh, mouldy bread or anything like that because we will eat it and it will it won't do well for our and, and, and if and if you do want to break the rules and you keep your hands flat and keep your yeah. thumb tucked in because <laughs> we will have it on. Yeah. Out of the three of you, who would you say is the biggest star? Oh God, who's the biggest star? I would say it's oh. probably Georgie, and not because of your superior show business. Uh, but mainly because oh, you're superior in show business, it can, yeah. as though it's a noun. Yeah. Which, which part of Georgie is her show business? <laughs> she is show business. You know when people say show business? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. We're talking about her. Okay. Like she's no business right chicken. Um, um, because she's got the face of Jessie J. I, I, so I, I, she's I experienced am. the yeah. celebrity life. I actually like do, do Moonlight on, on, on weekends doing small Jessie J. Leagues. What she can't be able to do now, you know, the smaller ones, because she's mm. doing the big international <laughs> stuff. Yeah. So I just kind of do... You can't do uh, Get Hannah Smith tonight. That's actually me. It sort of franchises Georgie out, doesn't she? So you're, I guess, the biggest star, because you're the face of a proper celebrity. Well, exactly. Yeah. I, I'm, I think, actually, it's Matt because he's got the most Twitter followers. Mm. And these days, that's all that matters. It's yeah. Yeah. All that matters. Yeah. Most of those are my sex bots. My, <laughs> yeah. how, can you, well, how do I get some of that? <laughs> because, uh, my, my Twitter page is, is growing, but interestingly, it's at I am Will Best. Interestingly. Oh. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> What's the most starstruck you've ever been? Uh, I once walked past Chris Martin. 
and didn't expect him to be <laughs> where I was walking and didn't know what to do with myself. That's where the thing was when it? you're not expecting it. It was at Radio 1, right? So it, I was there, you, you I walked past him. So but, that's it, you've got to let it go. But I wanted to go up and say hi, but I You could have done I, the classic thing of, you're Chris Martin. That's the best thing that people do when they see a celebrity. And really? They just say, no. you're, and then the celebrity. I want to, to as a kid, it's got a text message there. It's from oh, it's from Chris Martin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, me, me, and Gwyneth. I <laughs> want to brag. Um, he, he actually tweeted it to me at Matt Edmonds. So you don't need any more. You don't need more, any more. More D's now. Yeah, yeah. Difficult to spell. Google it before you have a look. Um, what was I saying? What was I Chris saying? Chris Martin, Blue Stars Drive, walk by. Yeah. And then once when you were little. Once when I was little, I walked past Sean Maguire. Do you remember him? Yeah. He was in EastEnders, I think. Oh, and he yes. was a singer. And he was yes. wearing a perfect vel velvet suit. And a I ran perfet? Uh, <laughs> a perfect velvet suit. But it's a very <laughs> expensive type of material. Yeah. Perfect. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. When you, uh, when you start earning the... Hang out with people like Chris. Chris and yeah. Then you get the perfect. Perfect. Um, anyway, he was wearing this perfect suit. And uh, I saw him on a zebra crossing. I can't believe my life. I've got to sign the back of a uh, uh, body shop receipt for me. Cool. Which, uh, what have you been buying? You and, you and your blooming cocoa body. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so you're going to do now, I'd like to explain it. Yeah. Um, I have a quick one. I have a quick go, one. Go on, um, go so, on. my favourite comedian is a guy called Tim Key, um, who's very funny, he does like sort of comedy um, poetry. Uh, and I actually, the first time I met Rick Edwards, uh, he was with it was uh, like a product. It was like a party from someone who works on the show. We worked on together, um, and I, I met Rick and Alexa Chung, um, and they were with this guy Tim Key. And I was so starstruck by Tim Key, made a bit of a fool of myself in front of him. And then the next person I spoke to was Alexa Chung, and I was so caught up in Tim Key that I just basically told her, I "Can't believe you're here with." Tim Key, how do you know? How do you know Tim Key? I was spoke to him. I was so starstruck. I couldn't even get my words out. I just did this whole sort of rant at Alexa Chuck about how starstruck I was by a comedian that no one's heard of. That probably made her feel pretty small. Pretty. <laughs> she is quite small. She is tiny. Yeah. Very thin. Um, I think my, I met Jason Donovan earlier this year, who was my childhood hero. Um, that was for me the most. I got so nervous I could barely talk to the man. Really? That's actually true. <laughs> He's quite a good fun, Jason Donovan. I interviewed him. Oh, once. don't be all like. Oh, we hang out. Well, no, we don't hang out. No, what did you, did you say to him? I said, hey, JD. Hi, I used to be a really big fan of yours. Well, I kind of said when I was little, so I, pr I mean, I probably didn't phrase it right because you were probably like, oh, you're saying, now you're saying I'm old and not. Yeah, not classic. Famous. When your hair yeah. didn't recede so far back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he does look old now, doesn't he? I saw him in the world. He was very impressive. Is there one? Nothing. 